Hey everybody, we're back with more inventive training and this exercise we're going to create a, a presentation. So to do a presentation, you'll just go here in this section and you'll select presentation. And then while you're in this environment, you'll we'll pick up our self assembly of support that we did for all those parts and we'll go open. Now, once you open in this presentation, you're in a animation view or where you got a storybook down here below, and here you got certain commands. So, the first thing you want to do here, I think you want to select this and name this. I always call these explosions, but you can call it whatever you like. Okay. And then from there, you you look at here, you want to hit uh, Capture Camera. And then at this point, you select Tweak Components. And you'll select the top component here. I'm going to place this on Part, and I want this to be set to World. And then what I want to do, I want to move this up. Uh, let's say, give it about, f let's go about five inches. Just key in five here, you can do that. And then, as you can see, the storyboard is moving. And then the next thing you want to do, you want to grab these, you want to select tweak components again, you want to grab this uh, screw here, place this to whirl. And let's move this guy up. Uh, we'll give him the four inches. And it'll do this the same as well here. But we always have to tweak component. Let's tweak component. I got it. I want to go and select world here. And then I'll grab this one and drag him up four inches. Okay, then the next part, piece, will do the same thing. It's pretty simple, folks. Select this piece. And we'll push him up. I'm going to put this to world again. Push him up about... Let's take them up about there, about three inches. And then we'll select finish. So there's our exploded view. And so now we've got our camera here. So all you do basically from here, you're going to push this to the beginning and we'll play it. That's the reverse of it. And now what controls that is here, this is placed the current storybook. And then you have the views or the animation working in that way. So hey guys, uh, a few more things here. You can reverse this. You can play. You can go over here. You can select reverse current storybook and you get it in reverse. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you got something out of this series on creating this animation. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, please subscribe. Helps out a lot. And again, take care and everybody be safe. Bye.